Hello everyone, it's Carly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another fall video for you guys. I thought I would do another thrift haul. You guys loved my last one that I did, uh, so I thought you would bring you another one. This is more of a collective haul. I didn't get all of these things at one time. Um, I'm not that lucky at the thrift store, but this was a couple weekends worth of trips out there, so I thought that I would just share with you guys. I'm not always perfect, and I can't find everything at the thrift store. I do fall into that fast fashion sometimes so some of these things are not from the thrift store and I'll obviously mention that um, when I'm showing you them if they're from the thrift why is that so hard to say if they're from the thrift store or not I'll let you guys know um, but yeah let's just jump right in I hope that you guys enjoy and I also got a comment about um, filming when I'm at the store so you guys can see like what I'm picking up right then or what I'm looking for let me guys let me guys let me know if that is something you guys would like to see I'd be happy to do that I've never done that before just because I wasn't sure how you guys would take it um, but if you'd rather see me like at the store and then the next video could be a haul I could definitely do that just let me know one of my first tips whenever I go to the thrift store is to have like an idea of what I want. I usually will always like scroll through Pinterest or Instagram or whatever else like I find my inspiration. I will just like snapshot it, take a picture of it, have it on my phone because the thrift store can be a little bit overwhelming, especially in the clothing department. I find it kind of you scramble everything's all over the place you're not really sure what you're looking for so if you go on instagram or pinterest um i just find it's easier to just like say okay i want this brown jacket so i'm gonna that's what i'm gonna keep my eye out for that's what i'm gonna you know focus on and that helps me out a ton so that's my biggest tip is just to have a list or pictures of what you're needing or what you're looking for sometimes you can find surprises which is always fun and nice but for the most part i go in with like an itemized list of this is what I need. Okay, let's jump into the clothes. The first item that I found was at the Goodwill. That's the thrift store I go to. We have a ton of DIs in the Salt Lake area and not a ton of Goodwills, but I prefer the Goodwill over the DI, so that's where I usually go. Um, but you can go to any of your local thrift stores. It's just this gorgeous like blazer jacket, but it's really long, so it's like a coat. I don't know. Is it a coat? Is it a jacket? I'm not really sure, but I really, really love it. It's this gorgeous, like, clueless pattern, um, and I'm really into that. I don't know if people are, like, over it, but I'm very into it, and it was $2. This whole thing was $2. Like, that's what I just don't understand is how you can, like, leave these things behind. It has these gorgeous buttons down the front, which I thought were just so cute, and yeah, I just picked it up. I, I've already worn it and I was obsessed with it. It did come with shoulder pads, but I just cut them out. It was super easy. Um, and yeah, I just, I loved it. So I'm very excited. I also wanted to let you guys know the video after this one will be um, a video of me styling these new pieces. So look out for that because this one was so fun to style. Like I am obsessed with this. My next one is exactly what I was telling you guys about with the whole Pinterest thing. I had been seeing a corduroy jacket all over the place. I see them at Forever 21, every single store. Um, and I just, yeah, I just wanted to find one at the thrift store because I know that this is something that's coming back and I know that they would have a ton. So I was so excited when I found this. Um, yeah, so it's just a corduroy brown jacket and it has nothing on the back, which I was really excited about because for some reason at the thrift store, a lot of the stuff have like things on the back and like it's just a show but um, yeah this one is a little bit oversized it's a large um, but I yeah I really liked the way that it fit on me and it's just so cute for the fall like I was so excited to get this so yeah and these two jackets I got in the same trip so I was just like winning also on my thrift store list was just like a ton of basics so I wanted a white turtleneck and this one I loved like if you find that's another tip if you find a white shirt at the thrift store like if it's in good condition, I say snag it. Like it's never, like it's pretty rare that you'll find a nice crisp white shirt. Usually they're like a little yellowed out or they have like a stain or two. And this one I was just like so excited to get. I love turtlenecks, I love styling them, which is like high-waisted jeans and like a cute jacket or even just like a hat that I'm wearing today. Um, and I like them to be really tight. So this one I sized down, but it's just really cute. Nothing simple. Or, sorry, nothing exciting, but very simple, uh, but just, yeah, it was something that I really wanted and needed, so I was glad to find it. 
feel like I have a ton of white here. Um, I don't know why I was just in the mood for white. Uh, the next thing that I got was just this oversized white button down. This is just like I'm obsessed with it. This also came with shoulder pads, so I just snipped them out, super easy. Um, but yeah, the thing that I love about this is A, that it's just so oversized. It's so cute for like date nights. Like if you wear it just a little bit buttoned down, you have like a black bra that's really nice, and just like dangly, dainty jewelry, I think is so cute. So I was so excited to find this. And I also really love this one because of the buttons. Let me get a little bit closer. Um, yeah, I just really loved, this is like the worst shot, I'm sorry, I don't know how to do this. Yeah, I just really loved the gold buttons on it, um, they also have it like on the cuffs, which I think is so cute. Yeah, so this was just, again, it's oversized, which I really wanted, um, it's just so easy to find. They have a ton of button-up shirts at the thrift store, like, if you can't find one in the girls, I also go to the men sometimes. This one I did find in women's, but um, I was so happy to snag this. Okay, so that is all I got at the Goodwill. Next, I'm gonna go through. Gonna. Next, I'm going to go through what I found at Uptown Cheapskate. That's like similar to a Plato's Closet here in Salt Lake. I like to go to Uptown right after the thrift store, just because sometimes the thrift store you don't get a lot of stuff or you can feel discouraged. <laughs> so when I do feel like that, I'll go to Uptown because Uptown is more like trendy things like they pay you for your clothing so it's very like on trend stuff so I know I'll always find something so yeah I'm very excited with the pieces that I found the first one is just the striped Zara dress I mean it really doesn't matter the brands but I just noted that um, but yeah it's just this striped dress I loved the color of it it's just like such a gorgeous color the knit is really good like it's a thick knit for a dress I was nervous that it was gonna be a little bit see-through um, but it isn't so that's good and I also like that on the bottom it has the stripes going a different direction and it just gives it a little bit more something to look at rather than just like this stripe pattern on my body. Um, so I really loved it, like it's just so cute. So I was really excited to pick this up. This is just cute with boots, with tennis shoes, like a cute jacket over top, it's just fun to, and easy to style and throw on. Um, so I was really looking out for stuff like that. Next is just this white shirt. This one is a little bit different. Um, I'm not much of like just a t-shirt and jean kind of person. I like my clothes to have a little bit more personality. So this was perfect. It's like this gorgeous cotton on top and then this linen on the bottom. And you can see it has like two, a slit right here where you could tie or put it in a bow. When I wore it, yeah, I tied it in a bow or you could just leave it down like this. And I just think it makes just a plain shirt a little bit more fun and exciting. Again, this is cute with just high-waisted jeans um, and just some cute shoes and like a top knot. Like I just really loved this. So I was very excited to find it. I already wore it. I'm obsessed with it. I want to wear it every single day. It's just so perfect. So speaking with things of personality and like my list, I really wanted something denim. Like I, the fall is just perfect for denim. Um, so I found this dress, which is so cute. It's just this denim dress. It is pretty not too long, but it's a good length. I like my dresses to be a little bit longer. Just for work and stuff, it makes me feel more comfortable. Yeah, and this one I loved because it had the little bow um, detail here on the sleeve, which I thought just gave it a little bit more personality. Again, it just looks so cute, styled like over a white turtleneck and just like high knee length boots like I think is so cute so I was so happy to find this also another reason why I love this dress is because it will also transfer over into like the spring and summer months um, which is just awesome like you get more wear out of your clothing that way and I really love shopping with that like intention so yeah I was super excited to pick this up my next item is not super fall, but for some reason I just like needed to have it. And it's just this gorgeous mustard yellow little crop. Um, it's not too crop, just because that's just not really my comfort zone. Nothing too special about it, but again, I just need something on my shirts. So I thought that this was really cute. Again, just an easy, quick outfit. Throw it with jeans, throw it with a denim skirt. So yeah, I was really happy about that. Okay, my last item from Uptown is like one of my faves. I'm so excited for these. Um, these are just these plaid trousers, like so cute. Do you, I don't know, it, they're pretty dark, but can you see the coloring? Again, that clueless vibe that I'm just so in love with. Um, yeah, these are so cute. They come really high up on me and they fit really nicely. I think they're just cute with, you know, paired with that white tee that I got. So cute. Again, it's hard to see on camera, but you will see it in the next video. 
Um, yeah, I just thought that these were so fun. Again, with the sweater, I think is cute. Like, I just like changing my pants up between just jeans. Like, I like a little bit more um, variety in my in my clothing. So yeah, I was super excited to pick these up. Okay, moving on. My last few items are actually from Forever 21. I popped into there and I knew that I was gonna find something. I was like trying to go like this, but like I had to buy something. <laughs> the first thing that I bought was this gorgeous rainbow sweater you guys would have already seen this in my diy video i think it was um and i just love this like and not really fall but it is a sweater so it counts um but it's just like such a cute sweater like i don't know how you're not happy when wearing this like this just brings me so much joy so i was so excited to find this they also have another one i was there just recently and they also have another one that's more like maroons and yellows and like a deeper orange so if you want this kind of rainbow vibe but a little bit more muted for the fall they have that there <laughs> i almost wanted to get it but i didn't um yeah so this is pretty loud and exciting but for me like this is a simple shirt <laughs> like i'm like this is not anything special but for some people it's a bit loud so i understand but i really loved it and it's just this cozy fabric like perfect Lastly, you guys have also seen this in my Trader Joe's haul. This is just this cute pink striped shirt. I don't know why I wanted it. It's not it's short sleeve, so I'm going to be chilly. But I just think it's so cute. Like, the cut of it is so, so cute. It just fits me so well with high-waisted jeans. And, yeah, nothing, again, nothing special. A lot of these things were just basics that I could throw with jeans, but also, you know, enough to make it exciting and fun. So I really, I really loved this. Okay, so the main reason I even went to Forever 21 this day was to get accessories and I was on the lookout for a new hat and this one was just like everything that I wanted. So this is just this gorgeous, why can I not say this is just, this is just um, this gorgeous like white brim brown hat. This is so cute, maybe I'll put, oh you guys already saw it. Maybe, did you? Yes, in my Trader Joe's haul. So cute. And it just like looks good with every single outfit. Like I'm not lying. I could wear this every single day, but Sebastian tells me I'm gonna be the hat lady. So, except I'm wearing a hat. I just love hats in the fall. Like they're my favorite thing. So yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I was so excited to pick this up. And my last little hat is something I was excited about, but I'm a little insecure. You know when you get something and you see it all over the place and then you put it on and you're like, it doesn't work for me. Like this is this freaking hat. I can't get it to work, but I'm not giving up. It's just this cute little like beret. I don't know. You know, like it's suede, it's tan. It should be easy to throw together. It's been really hard. So I need to just like play with it. I don't know. I'm not sure how to wear it or what's wrong with my head or if I got too small of a size. I don't know. But yeah, this is it. I love it and it just looks cute like sitting there wanting to be worn. Um, one day I'll wear it so it won't go to waste. But yeah, just this gorgeous little beret which I have no idea how to wear. Alright you guys, that is the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed my little collective haul. I hope this inspires you to go to the thrift store. My last little tip for you guys is if you're gonna go to the thrift store, take a bag of something. If you have anything lying around the house that you don't use or you don't see the value in it anymore, there's someone out there that does and that will use it. Uh, so yeah, and they give you a coupon. If you go to the Goodwill, they give you a coupon. Things are already like $2. And then you get a coupon because you gave your stuff away. So there's always something that you can just move forward and pass on to someone else. So I hope that you guys kind of go through your house, figure out what you can get rid of. Or even sell. If you go to Uptown, you can get money for it. It's always fun to buy new clothing, especially for me. I love buying clothing. That's why I love to go to the thrift store um, and just recycle through these clothing. They always come back into style you can always find what you're looking for for the most part um, but it's always good to just get rid of the stuff you're not using and hoarding on to so hope that you guys do that um, make sure to subscribe and like if you loved this video i would really appreciate your guys' support and i will see you in my next video bye